Hi, I'm Kelsey from roughandtumblefarmhouse.com and today we are going to be making some chicken stock from scratch. So I really like to have my own chicken stock made from scratch for a couple of reasons. The main reason being I really like to use the entire chicken. We process some of our own birds here on our farm and I just can't stand the thought of wasting any of that animal after I knew it and butchered it and it made that sacrifice. It's really important to me that we use every single part of the animal if we can. Chicken stock is also really easy to make and it's mostly using kind of a waste product, something that you might just throw away or compost, ends up being turned into a really nice addition to your soups and stews and even for making rice or couscous, a really good delicious stock really can add a lot to the flavor of a dish. So I'm going to take you through the process of making stock from scratch. It's really simple, even if you're a busy mom like me, you can make it happen because it only takes a few minutes really at the beginning and at the end, and then all the time in the middle is just the stock sitting on the stove simmering away. So here you can see I'm just putting all these chicken bones and scraps into a big stock pot. Every time we use a chicken, I just throw it into a freezer bag in the freezer until I have enough bones that I can make stock. I'm actually combining it here with some more chicken and some lamb bones. So you can make combination stocks, it doesn't just have to be chicken. And then you also wanna add in carrots, onions here, and some celery, and then I also like to add in some garlic. The nice thing about stock is it doesn't have to be fancy. I worked at a local foods restaurant for a while and they would save all their veggie scraps and keep those in the freezer and make stock out of that. So even there you saw I toss in kind of the butt end of the celery. It's perfect, you can put that in as well. And you just have to do kind of a rough chop is all it takes. Here these carrots are a little bit funky on the end so I'm saving those for the compost. But otherwise I'm just chopping these carrots up and kind of bigger chunks and gonna toss those into the pot. Now the onion, the nice thing about that is you don't actually have to peel it first. The skins can go in there too. They have a lot of nice flavor. Be careful when you're cutting it up with the skins. Um, they're actually kind of slippery, so just be cautious there. And again, just a nice rough chop is all you need. For this stock, I was making a double batch, so I ended up using two whole onions. You also want to add some seasoning here, so I'm adding a couple of teaspoons of salt. Whatever salt you have is fine. Kosher or here, I'm using some pink Himalayan salt. You also want to add in some thyme, and all the spices are kind of to taste. I do have a link below to the recipe with actual amounts. And then here, I'm just adding in some parsley as well. And I forgot to mention with the garlic, those you can put those in with kind of the peels on as well. Just smush them and toss them in the pot. And then you want to add pretty much water to cover. Here I am adding, I think I did about four quarts of water and then put the whole thing on the stove. Set it on high so that you're going to get a nice good boil just like this. You can skim off some of the foam if you want. Then you're going to drop it down to a low simmer and cover it. So it should look something like this while it simmers for about two to three hours. Then you want to just strain it out and after that you are going to store it. So you know it's done when the meat completely falls off the bones, the bones all separate. And for storing it you can, well first of all you want to make sure it cools and then you can store it in mason jars in your fridge for about four to five days. You can put it in gallon Ziploc bags. Here you can see I'm pressing out all the really good juice. Um, or you can also put it in canning jars and uh, preserve it in your pressure canner. So that's it. Now you have your own chicken stock made from scratch. Keep it in the fridge, keep it in the freezer. Another trick that I like to do sometimes is to freeze it just in little ice cube trays because something might call for just like a quarter cup of stock or something like that and I hate to open up either a whole big bag of it and try and chip off some or I don't want to open a can of it. So if you just freeze it in ice cube trays and then put it in Ziploc bags then you can pull out just what you need if a recipe only calls for a little bit of stock. 
So thank you very much for watching. Let me know if you have any really good chicken stock recipes that you have used. I always appreciate it if you hit that thumbs up button and if you subscribe, you can also hit that little bell and you'll get notified every time I post a new video, which is once a week. So always check back here at my channel for new videos about farming, family, food, and fortitude here at our rough and tumble farmhouse.